Hello, dear ones. It's it's Alice. Here's a thought. Well, when my attention falls on something, I would term dark, a dark thought or emotion, a dark energy. What some people call the dark network of planet Earth for the third dimension and fourth dimension looks like this. Since 3D and 4D include both dark and light, we can choose which we prefer. Would, will we dwell on something that's dark and try and figure that out with our logical minds? Or will we visualize the beauty and magnificence of New Earth, which is all bright and incredible? Well, so, in dark moments it works for me to visualize that, that, that beautiful grid of light and imagine that I'm standing or sitting, look at this, this is a, um, it's a natural stone bench, watch. And uh, so we can visualize ourselves firmly planted and anchored on earth and, uh, and with our our heads and attached to the incoming energy of the beautiful pranic column of light and our hearts fiery with the energy of new earth on fire with love perfect deluge of love So here's another thought. Why should I dwell on cause and effect with its inevitable consequence of a little bit better or a little bit worse a comparison of the past to the present, the present to the future, when I can instead dwell on this moment now and imagine in my heart that this is a perfect moment no matter how I approach this moment with my feeling body and my emotional body I can still imagine that this feeling and this emotion and this experience, this visual experience that I'm having right now are the perfect one for me right now so, something to be said for the now it allows the moment to be perfect instead of comparatively perfect compared to a timeline. Now I have another point. I was talking about the lower quadrant, what, what I call the lower quadrant. That's um, really starting around the rib cage and proceeding down to the lower, lowest part of the trunk of the body and uh, includes chakras one through three in the old system. And uh, I was complaining in a way about how they pick up and transmit the unconscious uh, thought cloud of the, of the world and, and it kind of sticks places in, in the lower quadrant, in the light body. And so every morning when I get up, I have to, I notice all of the thoughts that have come clouding through and glumping through my lower quadrant at night. And, and I have to consciously allow those thoughts to find uh, their ceaseless, not ceaseless, but restless momentum of those thoughts to find peace and quiet. And so, and every day it's a new task in the early morning, just as I wake up to let those thoughts dissipate and lose a turn, turn to quiet. That's the nature of those chakras. They, um, they, they have that energy of earth in them, that, 
that mixture of, of like dense energies coming up from the earth and 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 so there's really no reason to complain about that because that's the way those chakras are. I got to thinking, well, I expect those chakras to have the same sort of energy as the other chakras, but they're not like that. They're the chakras that ground us and anchor us to earth and they need to contain denser energy, less conscious energy. So it was kind of a wonderful boost to my acceptance of things just as they are. I thank her for that. This is the last comment. It occurred to me one day that the light that people see after they pass on, the light that they go towards or they're drawn towards, might actually be the light of their own souls. Just a thought. Y'all take care. <laughs>